Hello guys, Salt Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Little Witch Academia. I already gave my first impressions of it a while back. There wasn't any plot development in the 7 episodes I watched, and it was frustrating to see. This time though, I watched the entire anime series in order to give it a fair chance. While it was better in some aspects, it was also more disappointing in other areas. In this anime, the main character Akko wants to be an amazing witch someday, like her idol Shiny Chariot. The problem is, she's behind many witches in terms of using magic. She can't even fly on a broom. She won't give up on her dream though, and she attends Luna Nova Magical Academy in order to learn how to use magic properly. This anime follows Akko on a journey to become a witch that can make other people smile. After watching the entire anime series, I can't believe it took 14 episodes for there to be plot development. The first 13 episodes are episodic and show Akko and her friends trying to get out of bad situations, some of which is Akko's fault to begin with. It just feels like a slice of life show where nothing of importance occurs. We don't get much info on Shiny Chariot's past, and the plot isn't moving at all. If I'm not a reviewer, I would have dropped this anime after 3 episodes. I'm not waiting that long for plot development. I don't get why they chose such a slow pace for a show. If you want to do that, just make it completely a comedy show. Instead this anime gave us great mysteries at first, only to make us wait 14 episodes for even some hints to mysteries. That's not to say I didn't find the anime relaxing at first with a slice of life atmosphere, but it shouldn't have dragged on for that long. It felt like a chore watching episodic episodes. Episode 14 is when this anime is finally watchable again. We start to get hints about what happened to the shiny chariot in the past. As viewers, we really want to see how Aqua will react to the shiny chariot's true identity. And when shiny chariot's past is finally revealed, it is such a shocking twist. It's like, wow, I didn't see that plot twist coming at all. Everything about Akko finally makes sense. You're left in anticipation of how Akko will react to the shocking twist. Then we get to the issue of magic versus technology, and how witches now want to implement technology into using magic, and leads to discussion of how magic should be used. It's entertaining seeing both sides of the issue discuss their points. It's like, why couldn't the anime be like this from the start? It's really obvious how much the anime improves once there's actually a plot. I did like the message that the show had, which was never giving up on your dreams. Akko never gave up on becoming a great witch, even when other people told her that she was basically a failure. It's great seeing her prove them wrong. The only problem I have with this message is that whenever Akko is in danger, all she has to do is believe in herself. That was so cheesy and cliche. I want to see her get out of bad situations because she's smart enough to come up with a plan, or she trained enough to become a stronger witch. Seeing her get out of bad situations just by believing herself feels like plot armor. There isn't any logic to it. In terms of characters, I found Akko annoying to watch. It's great that she never gives up on anything, but she causes so much trouble for herself and her school. It's like, how can you not see that what you're about to do next is going to cause trouble for everyone? Diana was a good character. She's very overconfident at first, but then she realizes Akko's amazing ability to get out of bad situations. She even motivates Akko to become a better witch. Lotte was a boring character to watch. I did like Susie's relaxed personality though. It's funny to see her not show much of an expression to anything. I was not impressed by the opening or ending songs for this anime series. The music throughout the anime was alright. The anime style is very appealing to watch, and the anime looked very nice. I would say this anime would have easily been a 7 out of 10 if the first 13 episodes weren't so episodic. The mystery aspect is really great later on but took way too long to develop. I give this anime a 6 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day night whoever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.